Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And hey, I'm back. I'm back at my ever junky desk. And I missed you last week all together. And a few times we filmed and came to you from different locations. But I'm back here today uh, in the office. And I want you to know, my friends, and I know you guys probably get a kick out of it and say, why don't he straighten up his desk? Well, well, listen, I want you to know when we get ready to shoot and Gary comes in for us to get a chance to speak to you and to invite you to join us uh, for tonight's service, we actually do straighten up the desk. So this is the straightened up version and uh, and uh, of the desk. So I guess I'm the junkiest preacher uh, there is. I, I'm always touched and I'm always and I admire other ministers when I see them and they're maybe they're doing a report from their office or whatever the case may be. And I notice how. Uh, orderly and how pristine the office is, the desk is. You know, my office is very clean. It's just my desk, you know. And I notice how other preachers have such nice and uh, nicely arranged desks. So just pray for me um, and uh, that the Lord will continue to, to use me uh, as I minister the word of the Lord to you and say, God, help him, help him clean off his desk. Uh, I'll tell you what happens. Uh, one time I, I cleaned it up and uh, uh, a day or two later, uh, we were right back where we started. So it is what it is. But I am glad to be talking to you. I pray that things are well with you. And, and pardon me for going off on that little tantrum about such an unimportant matter in these serious times in which we are living in. The last thing that's on your mind is whether or not uh, the desk is uh, uh, clean or not. I'm just excited. I'm just excited about having a chance to invite you to join me tonight uh, at, here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for our uh, Thursday night Bible study. I'm excited because the word of the Lord. Listen, my friends, if nothing else, the very minimum, the very minute, the smallest thing that I can say about the word of God is that the word of God, number one, is right and that the word of God can be trusted. Oh, we've been studying in Daniel chapter number 11, and it's amazing how the scriptures foretold events that would take place 100, 200, 300, 500, 600, indeed 2020, 2021, years or so, and, and, and should the Lord d delay his coming into the future and how accurate the word of the Lord is. The, the 11th chapter of Daniel, of Daniel was so accurate uh, as you tally the historical events that took place after the, the, the prophecies were given in this 11th chapter. The, 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 uh, the, the, the chapter is so accurate that many pretended that the 11th chapter of Daniel and the prophecies were written only after the prophecies came to pass. But that's not po possible because there are prophecies in the 11th chapter of Daniel that are yet to come to pass, and we have the 11th chapter. So we've been studying the word of the Lord, and we're learning how to deal with the spirit of Antichrist, uh, what to look for, how to recognize it, and how not to be, be deceived by it. My friends, God's calling us to holiness as never before. And listen, I'm excited about the coming uh, new year. I'm excited about the battles and the victories uh, that lie ahead. I'm excited about the glory of God that is, is going to be released and indeed is being released in the world. God has a blessing with your name on it. And in, in, in addition to a blessing, listen, my friends, the Lord has an assignment for you because I want you to know that you are a soldier 
in the army of the Lord. And I want to encourage you to serve the Lord with gladness, to stay saved, to walk upright and to live holy because the God of the Bible, he has your back. He's got your front. He's covering us from above and beneath. Satan can't get to you because the God of the Bible has you. And if anything gets through, God have already determined that you can handle it and victory is already yours. So I'm going to cut this short because you know sometimes I can go to talking and go on and on and on and that's because of my excitement for the Lord and my excitement for you the Lord's people. So tonight whether you join me here live in the sanctuary or on Facebook live or YouTube live I want you to join me here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. (laughs) You guessed it, my friends. Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. I'll see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Oh, oh, and and, hey, how can I forget this? Merry Christmas. (laughs) Merry Christmas to every one of you. God bless you. I'll see you tonight.